Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about how to configure and set up the Renko charts on the TradingView.com platform. Now, as you might know, TradingView.com is one of the foremost charting platforms that has revolutionized the industry. Um, one of the main reasons behind this is the fact that everything is simple and intuitive. Now, for some this topic might seem very trivial because if you have been trading or analyzing the charts for a while, you very well know how to navigate between the charts and change the chart types. But this video is primarily focused for those who are new to using the Renko charts and the TradingView platform itself. So let's get started. Firstly, in this video, I will show you how to configure the TradingView charts using a Forex currency pair. And here too, we will make use of one of the majors um, with the USD currency. And also we will take a look at an example with the JPY currency pair as well. So firstly, as you can see, when you pull up the trading view chart, you have uh, the instrument, the broker that is being used and the time frame. So this is a candlestick chart, as you can see. And this is how it would look by default. Now, depending on your settings, maybe you might be looking at a bar chart or even a line chart. So the question now is, how do you set up the Renko charts on TradingView? Now, navigate to the main menu here under the section called Bars Style. And here you can see the various kinds of chart types that are available. Now, bear in mind that this feature is applicable only for those who have a paid subscription to TradingView.com. Um, the link is in the description for you to visit the TradingView.com website. Okay, so we select Renko here and automatically you are taken to the Renko chart. Now, what you need to do from here on is to either right click on settings here or right click on settings anywhere else and this opens up the chart settings window. Here you click on symbols and then you have a whole bunch of customization that you can make. So firstly, let's take a look at the Wix. Now notice how the background Renko charts has the Wix disappearing. These are nothing but the tails. So if you can again focus here. Yes, so here you notice this tail that is here and when I remove the wick, the tail disappears. I would recommend that you keep this wix checked because it will kind of give you an idea of what the market did during that particular period. So here you can see that price went to a low before reversing all the way back. Now this is very important, especially if you are trading live. The next option we have is the source where you can choose between the uh, median or the average price of OHLC or you can simply select the closing price. I would once again recommend that you keep the source to close because this is the most standard way that we look at charts. Now in the box size assignment method when you open trading view for the first time you will come across the ATR selection. Now here the ATR as you know is the average true range and the ATR length is basically the length of the ATR setting. Now when you set this to 14 for example, you can see that the ATR is set to 0 0.007. Now if you change it to 10 and click OK, you will again see that the ATR is almost pretty much the same. But when you change the time frames here, the base time frame from which your Renko chart is calculated, you can see that your ATR has now changed to 0 0.0035. So what does this mean for you as a trader? So if say, for example, if I add a moving average 9 and another moving average of, let's call it 20, you can see that this is how the moving average looks like. 
but when you switch to the day time frame you can see that the moving averages have completely changed now this is true not just for moving averages but any indicator that you might add and that is one of the biggest problems when you use ATR and also as you know that the ATR value is not always constant and it can change which means that the Renko box size can change as and when the value changes now in order to overcome this you can basically go back and select it to a traditional box size in the traditional box size you have a new option called box size and here the way to assign the box size is exactly in the decimal uh, points that you see now firstly in forex you will come across four decimals and five decimals the standard default is four decimals so if for example i have 0.0001 this means that the Renko box size will be for a one pip change. Now watch what happens when I click OK. And you can see that the price is basically uh, lines of red and green, which indicates price going down and price going up. Now the problem with this again is the fact that sometimes you can see that when there is a large movement, uh, let's say you are somewhere around 1.208 and suddenly there was a large movement to 1.210. Then what happens in this case is you don't have the boxes plotting one after the other, but you have one straight set of boxes all the way from, from your starting point to 1.210. Now this can be dangerous and therefore you shouldn't set it to one pip. In our example, I will set it to 0 0.0025. Now here, as you can see, the, the uh, pip size is basically 250 pips. So you have your open at 1.2150 and your close at 1.2175. Now let's kind of move it a bit smaller so we have it here so this would be two pips and this would be 20 pips now if you continue to remove the decimals it will become 200 pips and this is 2000 pips so let's keep it at 0 0.0010 to keep things simple And now you have a 10 pip chart. So you have price moving from 1.216 to 1.214. Um, yeah, sorry, my mistake. So this is set to 20 pip movement. Now, once you do this, the next option is you need to select the base time frame from which your um, data is going to come from. Now, typically, if you select one second, there is a restriction, of course, even for my account, which is a pro account. But if, for example, I select one minute, then you will see that the box will be updated every minute. And basically, this is what you see here. Ideally, I would set it between five minutes up to 15 minutes in order to make the charts a bit more meaningful. Now, in the case of a currency pair, which has the Japanese yen in it, things get a bit interesting. So let's select usdjpy and let's switch back the settings to atr so here with on on a 5 minute chart the 10 period atr is 0 0.015 or in other words this is 1.5 pips so as you can see the price open close here is 109.395 and 109.385 so that is like 15 pips. Um, you can go back to settings, click on symbols and select traditional and set it to 0 0.01. And here you have your price movement now. So this is a movement from the opening of 109.39 to a close of 109.40. Similarly, the Renko chart will change once you move the time frame around. So you need to be very careful. So once you select your um, 
Renko chart and the uh, box size, the fixed box size, you need to stick with the same uh, chart, base chart time frame. The moment you change that around, your entire um, Renko chart will start to redraw itself again. And this is something that can prove to be costly. And especially when you're trading real time in the markets, it can happen that uh, you might see completely different when you change the base chart time frame and this might give you conflicting signals and this in turn can be very bad for your trading. Let's now take a look at uh, some of the um, other instruments. So if you take a look at gold, one of the easiest ways to understand what box size you want to make use of is to simply set the initial settings to ATR and you can see that it's 0 0.85 and what this means is that if you hover over one of the boxes let me see if i can get the price label to come up yeah so you can see that this is a 0 0.85 uh, box size based on the 10 period atr so you can now change it back to a traditional box size and instead of 0 0.85, I will set it to 1. And here you can see that the price movement is from 1830 to 18, 1839 to 1840. So likewise, you can basically play around with the settings and uh, choose something that is more meaningful for you. And again, the, the same concept remains in place that once you change your base chart time frame, your entire Renko chart will begin to repaint itself. So let's take a look at it again. So this is how it looks on a one hour chart. This is on four hours. This is on daily and this is on five minutes. Let me again replay that. So this is how it looks on the one hour chart. This is your four hour chart. This is your daily and this is your five minute. So therefore it is important that you pay attention to the base chart time frame that you're using. And uh, when you're practically trading, I would recommend that you do not uh, let your decision be influenced by any other trader or in any forum or community because you might be actually right in what you see based on your settings, but someone else might look at things differently. So now um, let's take a look at uh, stocks. Let's select Facebook. And here again, so even when you're trading with stocks, the most easiest way to go around is to first set your ATR period and then you get your Renko box size, which is 0 0.45. You can then change it back to traditional settings. And even here, if I set the box size to one, it basically means that the box size will move one dollar so from 13 319 it has moved to 320. so guys i hope this video was useful um, if you have any questions again feel free to um, post it in the comments below and i hope you uh, enjoyed this video and it was useful to you thank you and have a nice day bye bye